yesterday was such a mixed bag. I know I went for a walk and saw sunshine and blue skies, but then you go outside again, it's gray and cloudy and windy. Today should yes. be a little nicer. Yeah, those winds were howling yesterday. Yeah. We had gusts up around 40, 45 miles per hour. We don't have to worry about that today, which will be nice. It is going to be a little bit breezy, but not as gusty. And we're going to see plenty of sunshine today. You can see our Next four hours look good. It's just going to be a little chilly as we start the day with temperatures in the 40s. Heading into the late morning, we should be climbing up into the 50s, so around 9 o'clock, 56. Sunshine will continue through that time, and our forecast high today is 75. That's pretty nice. Uh, the winds will be up between 10 and 20 this afternoon, so uh, yeah, a little bit of a breeze, but it could be worse when you think about how it was yesterday. And there is some warmer air off to our south and west where we do have some upper 70s close to 80. That air will be pushing up our way for the weekend. So temperatures will get back to seasonal levels Saturday and Sunday. We should be up closer to 80 degrees and really for a good stretch of days that is going to be the trend. The humidity will also be coming up through that time. So not only will it be warming up, but it's going to start to feel a little more uncomfortable out there in terms of how sticky it feels. Here's a check of the satellite radar loop. We are clear across the area. Those clouds from yesterday quickly cleared out and you can see that rain is even out of Ohio now association with this big area of low pressure that brought in the wind too. Now we have high pressure settling in some lighter winds to start the day, but with the high shifting east, we're going to see those winds increase a little bit going into the afternoon. Allergy report over the past 24 hours, the tree pollen, the grass pollen have both been at moderate levels, so we continue to see those a little elevated. Still don't have to worry about weeds at this time of year, but the mold count continues to run high. That's something that's been high for a while now. Here's a check of future track starting us off with lots of sunshine today. We're going to see that through noon and very little change in our weather map as we head towards the drive home at five. We are still mostly sunny. We'll start to notice some changes tonight. Clouds will be moving in, so we'll become partly cloudy. And then we get into Saturday and we'll have the chance for rain returning to the area. In the morning, we can't rule out a shower or two crossing, but going into the afternoon, they'll become more numerous. And we'll even add in the potential for some rumbles of thunder tomorrow. As we go through the weekend, we would have the potential to pick up several rounds of heavier rainfall. So even into early next week, we're going to see some potential localized flooding. Today up to 75, mostly sunny. It's going to be breezy but pleasant with those south winds picking up 10 to 15. Tonight will drop down to 58 with partly cloudy conditions developing. It'll be nice and cool. And then tomorrow, 78 degrees, breezy, more humid with scattered showers and thunderstorms possible for Saturday, Sunday, and even into early next week. Monday's rain chance stays high. Now Tuesday and Wednesday will be the chance to see a little more dry time through those days with the lowest rain chances, but the rain chances go back up on Thursday. When we get into an active weather pattern like this, it is great to have the radar in your pocket. You can download that Storm Team 2 weather app from WDTN.com. Just go there or to your app store directly and you can stay connected.